Hi, and uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. So I was planning to, to do a video about uh, transistors. So I made uh, recently some experiment with transistors in order to make an amplifier for RF. Uh, but then I decided that I could as well uh, make a short review of this uh, book. This is the book I'm, I bought and I'm following to learn about uh, these topics. Uh, the title is The Art of Electronics by Paul Horowitz and Winfield Hill, uh, the third uh, improved edition. Um, by the way, this is uh, a, uh, a very available book in the United States, I mean, in Amazon.com, uh, but also I bought it on uh, Amazon in France. And the price is about $80, which is uh, not super cheap, but not uh, very expensive either, especially for a book of, uh, you know, it's huge, uh, 1,200 pages, more or less. So in this uh, short video, I will just give you my um, opinions on this book. Huh? And uh, of course, uh, the opinions depends. Uh, my opinion depends on, uh, on the fact that I'm uh, an amateur in this field. I'm not a professional. Um, yeah, in general, every review strongly depends on the reviewer, right? So let me tell you about uh, my background. So you can see if my background is similar to yours. Maybe this review would be useful to you. So my background is in uh, computer science and mathematics. Okay, so mathematics in the context of computer science. And so this means that in general, uh, I don't mind uh, seeing, uh, you know, equations uh, of, uh, you know, so mathematics. I'm not afraid of mathematics. This is what uh, I'm saying. At the same time, though, um, you know, uh, I'm not interested in spending weeks uh, trying to digest uh, uh, differential equations or, you know, complex uh, calculation uh, uh, of analysis, basically, calculus. So I was searching for something in between, something that is kind of practical. So it's oriented to experimentation, to having fun, so basically the obvious, but also something that would not be just copy these uh, schematics and, uh, you know, implement it, because I really wanted to understand what's going on to some degree of uh, of precision. Uh, again, uh, this is not, uh, I, I mean, my objective is not to do a PhD in electronics, but, uh, you know, to have some fun and at the same time learning uh, the, the topic. So I think this book is just perfect. After some research, uh, I identified this book as a good uh, compromise. So the book is by these, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, the book uh, is by um, Paul Horowitz, who is a professor, an emeritus professor at Harvard University, and Wilfred Hill, which is the director of an electronics lab at uh, Harvard University. So, you know, this book is written by academics, so, uh, you know, uh, they know what they are talking uh, about at the high le highest level. At the same time, though, the book is uh, really uh, not too mathematically demanding. So. It's full of uh, very, uh, you know, picture and illustrations and, uh, you know, uh, that really helps uh, the reader. There are some calculations, so you're not left completely without calculations, but the calculations are um, usually very simple to follow. They are basically just arithmetic, okay? Uh, there is no really calculus or advanced mathematics uh, to know. And in any case, when it's something is known in terms of mathematical knowledge, uh, there is an appendix. For example, let me see, there should be an appendix towards the end uh, about, uh, well, let me see in the index. Um, there is an appendix, for example, in uh, regarding, um, uh, let me see, complex numbers. So I don't know where that is, but uh, I had a look at it and it's very well written. So, math review, yeah, here there is some trigonometry, complex numbers, and some very, very basic elements of calculus. Again, you don't need, you don't need much, most of them. Um, so the book is huge, and it covers uh, really both the analog part of uh, electronics, which is what I'm uh, trying to learn, which is, you know, I'm not so interested, in, uh, I mean, this is very personal, of course, but um, I'm interested in radio, RF, and this type of thing. So not so much about the digital electronics, but more about the analog. So the book has, uh, starts with the foundation, ohms low, capacitor, resistors, this type of things. Then it progresses through, uh, you know, for example, here we have uh, the section about bipolar transistors. This is the one I'm following right now to, to try to implement my amplifiers. 
FETs, uh, op amps, uh, uh, precision circuits, or a lot of designs to, to have a precision uh, circuits, uh, oscillators, filters. So these are really uh, important topics in, uh, in RF, in uh, basically ham radio and these type of things. Uh, low noise techniques, again. Um, voltage regulations and then it starts uh, around uh, chapter 10 so we're talking about uh, page 700 about digital uh, digital electronics so this covers of course uh, all kind of things so FPGAs uh, um, analog to digital converters uh, you know microcontrollers and uh, data links all these kind of things um, there is an entire section, I think, about PPL, PLLs, uh, so phase lock loops, uh, which are ways to, you know, what is used in many circuits to generate uh, high precision uh, frequencies given um, a reference. And uh, yeah, all in all, it's, uh, it's really a good book, so I can recommend it uh, to the hobbyist. To be obvious, that uh, wants uh, to have a look at the schematics, but also wants to understand what's going on. So, for example, regarding the transistor, so this is what I can tell you since uh, I've been uh, reading this in the last few days. Uh, we start with a very basic model. So let me see if I can actually, yeah. Uh, we start with a very basic model of the transistor and the introduction. But then uh, the model is improved uh, to account for some, uh, you know, specific situation. Then uh, what is presented is the ever small model. So this is still... Uh, a simplified mod mathematical model of what a transistor does. There are more sophisticated models, but uh, these, uh, the authors say at least, uh, is sufficient for everything contained in the book. So really, this is not too complicated. You can digest it with some time. So it's not something you read in five minutes and you understand, or at least not me. Uh, but it's not really uh, impossible to digest. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's something you can actually read, uh, digest, and then use uh, for your own circuits. So again, I think this is uh, an excellent book. I, I suggest it to the hobbyist in general. And, uh, you know, I will probably take a, laft a lifetime as an hobbyist to read this. And, uh, but it's good because it's very, very well organized. So, for example, you know, I might uh, completely omit uh, the fat part if, if I'm not uh, so much interested in uh, power sw switching applications or these type of things. And I can just uh, jump to the op amp uh, section, uh, which is perhaps more interesting for uh, RF or, you know, I'm, perhaps I'm not so interested in op amps, uh, but I can go directly to filters. So. You know, it's, uh, it's very handy to have uh, these neat uh, divisions between the sections. And overall, I think this is an excellent book. So that's it. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.